Yes, good people, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a special unboxing to do today. This is something that caught my eye recently on eBay. I put the guy in a cheeky offer. He refused it, wanted a bit more, and I actually want it for less than what originally offered. So, yeah. So hopefully this is going to be something pretty special. Open her up and I'll show you what I got. We're going to be quite careful. To damage anything because some people don't package stuff very well but it seems okay so far okay so we've got a plastic container sounds like there's bits in there bits of hardware okay You ready for it? In fact, I'll sneak it out and I'll move the box. Oh yeah! We got a Squire Bullet Mustang in a kind of Kurt Cobain Lake Placid Blue competition Mustang style. Hmm. The paint job is a bit rough and ready, but I think with a few little tweaks we can make this look good. We can make this look good. It's been gouged out in several places. It's got a HH pickguard standard Squire Bullet one. Yeah. I think this looks pretty cool as is. It's quite grungy. I think this would get Kurt Cobain's seal of approval. That's for sure. So let's have a quick look at the hardware. I'll get you in for a closer shot. Another quick close up of the body. It is quite dark, but yeah, I'm sure we can do something with that to make it look a bit better. And I believe that's a sticker on there. Yeah, it's just a sticker that's been sort of crudely put on. Not sure about this bit, but. So, originally at some point, this would have been a Squire Bullet Mustang. It's got the setup for it, the three way toggle switch. Um, there's a little bit there that's been chewed out no doubt that had the switching in at some point somebody did try and do some mods on this but we'll make sure we clean all this out and do things right I reckon so in this tub we've got the neck plate control panel and we've got standard Mustang bridge but it's missing the ferrules and we've got a vibrato that's been bolted down, not in the best way. There's better ways to hardtail them, but at least they tried. So the total cost I paid for this was, I won it on eBay for $36.55. They charged $7.50 shipping, which wouldn't have cost that much. So total was £44.05p. Now, for a modding platform, I still need quite a bit. I need a neck, I need tuners, I need electronics, I need a different pick guard. I want some switching. Um, I'm probably going to go with a tunematic bridge. I need to check the shoddy insulation of this. I don't even know what they've done because there's nowhere to put the, the bridge at the minute. For a modding platform, I think we've got pretty cool guitar, it's going to need quite a bit of work obviously I'm going to change that pick guard out um, I don't believe that's in the right place but we we shall work with it and see what we get I need a neck on there to work out the exact scale because Mustang's a 24 inch scale so you need to know where that's got to go perfectly to align that up if you know what I mean so I'm not sure what they used before or it's a abandoned project but I think it's something I can fix up and try and emulate Kurt Cobain's 1969 competition Mustang which was actually a competition burgundy I know I've had a few arguments with people on the internet over this before but from the pictures I've seen of Cobain's actual guitar you can see that purple tint in it if anybody knows their old fenders I'm pretty sure it's a competition burgundy but this is pretty close to the the kind of reissue 
uh, what Fender brought out a few years ago. Even the colour as it is now, it's got that Cobain spirit about it, that's for sure. Cobain's 1969 competition Mustang sold recently for four and a half million pounds. So we're going to make a, a budget version of that. I'm going to change the pit guard out. Cobain's original one, it's got like that vintage perloid guard with a sink, the standard single coil neck pickup and a, uh, I believe it's a Seymour Duncan hot rail and add the switch in. So we're gonna try and get something close to that. Ernie Bailey, Cobain's Guitar Tech, did stick a, a Goto Tulematic bridge on there. So I think that's something we could do. I'm gonna be spending the next few days, possibly weeks, trying to source some parts for this. I need quite a lot, I need a neck. I think I've got some Mustang tuners. In fact, I'll quickly put them out. I have some of them in my stash already. Wait. Yeah, there you go. These are off a uh, vintage modified Mustang, if I remember rightly. Yep, I believe we've got a full set of them. So we've got the tuners. I've also got the, the little ferrules that go in the neck. Yeah, there's plenty of that stuff there. They're all in there somewhere. I've got a tunematic bridge somewhere as well, so I'll start building the parts up. It could take a few weeks. Depends how quick I get a neck, and I can't really do a lot with this setup until I get the neck and know where everything's going to go. So I think this is going to be a pretty cool build on the channel. Trying to emulate Kurt Cobain's 1969 competition Mustang without the four and a half million pound price tags. So make sure you. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, The Guitar Manifesto, because I'll sure be putting some sneaky peeks of this guitar behind the scenes as I collect all the parts for it. So that'll probably wrap it up for today. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also click the link in the corner for my budget Kurt Cobain Mustang build in the past. I'll catch you all soon. Peace.